Hi herb mates. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Red Boot Apothecary and Garden. And today we are going to talk about lemongrass, the medicinal benefits, and how to process and use it for medicine. A few things before we start, you're going to want to have gloves because the leaves are actually very sharp and you will get little paper cuts if you don't. And then some shears. So to harvest, I just came in at the base and cut it. It is a perennial, so as long as you don't get a hard frost, it will come back next year. And that's just one. I planted two. Let one of them keep going. This is probably more than enough. I was going to just process the one, but saner minds prevailed. Because I know I'm having a hard time getting out here to get things done. So it's just probably better that better for me to do them both now instead of wait. Even if it could, you know, stand to grow more. Um, I'm here now, so I'm just gonna do it, do it all. So lemon grass thrives in full sun and kind of grows in clumps. It really grows well in pots as well. You don't want, because it's, you know, it does get really big and kind of sprawls out. Um, it wasn't a problem for me, but if you want other things in your bed, you might want to do this one in a pot. You want some really good, sharp snips. Just chop down all of that. That was just two plants. And you can see here, these are the stalks. And it will continue to grow, just continue to water it. Um, but you can grow it as an annual as well. You don't have to. Once it gets colder, it will probably start to die back. But. And as you can see, literally the very next day, I already had new growth. Then just to clean it up, I peeled back the first few layers on most of the lemongrass. Uh, there's just some dirt buildup. Depends on how picky you are. I'm a little picky, so you don't have to do this step. I just don't like dirt in my food. While I process this, let's talk about all the great benefits of lemongrass. People managing hypertension may find lemongrass tea beneficial as it can lead to a decrease in blood pressure. Lemongrass can also help reduce blood sugar levels, which is great for people who might be pre-diabetic or diabetic and are experiencing insulin resistance. It also actually has some anti-cancer benefits. Studies have found that lemongrass extract actually disrupts the initial stages of cancer development, particularly in the liver. It also has a key constituent called citrol, which has been found to actually kill off breast cancer cells. As a carminative, lemongrass tea is a great natural alternative for easing stomach and digestive issues. It also has been useful in treating gastric ulcers. It's also a great detoxifying agent, particularly in the kidneys, which would promote better renal function and the pancreas. It is a nervine, so like all nervines, it does work on the nervous system and helping to provide relief from stress and anxiety. Similar to the action of aspirin, lemongrass has been found to counteract headaches because of a constituent in it called eugenol. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it inhibits the clumping of blood plates Let's. Stems are really what you use for like cooking. You can mash them and make them into a paste, or you can just cut them really fine or put them in a food processor. The leaves that we make tea with. My daughter did have a deep philosophical question for you guys. There's probably a crystal. Is there an, a crystal for there's a crystal for that? Or for getting for, I don't know, attention, fame, attraction. Is there an herb for getting subscribers? Yeah, she wants some citrine and uh, <laughs> some citrine and some gold 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 pyrite. I went ahead and separated the stalks from the leafy parts. I cut the upper leaf to smaller pieces just so it can dry and it's easier to use for tea. Then the stalks I was using for tincture making. The stalks are actually really hard to cut. I struggled for a minute, but eventually I got there. I got them into smaller bits and then I went ahead and threw them in the food processor to macerate them because the name of the game when you're making tinctures is surface area. Added them to a jar and I used a one to two ratio. That's the ratio I use for all fresh plant tinctures. So one part plant matter to two parts alcohol. Um, I use 190 proof sugar cane alcohol. Um, so it will sit and extract probably over the next six plus weeks. And when I'm ready, I will press it and I will have a tincture that is stable for the next 20 plus years. I did set aside a few stocks for the freezer so I can use it in cooking. I like to use it in soups and in curries. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments. And of course, like and subscribe so we can continue to grow, harvest, and heal together.